All right, Michael, thanks for uh, getting on the call today and doing sure. the success story for Matthew. I know that he really appreciates it. And why don't we start off by you just sharing a little bit about yourself to uh, let everybody know who you are. Absolutely. Uh, my name is Michael Higdon. I'm uh, 43 years old. I live here in Louisville, Kentucky. I'm with uh, Remax Properties East. I've been in the real estate industry uh, for a little over 13 years now, having a lot of great success with the, the seller's market that we're having here uh, in the Louisville area. And uh, as I'm sure a lot of the people listening are around the country. When did you get started using Top Agent Mindset? Uh, with the, the mindset uh, portion of that, I, I was exposed to him, I guess, last last October through a Facebook ad. And I had been following Matthew for years through his father. And a lot, I've seen him speak several times. He's a great speaker. I've read his book, uh, Creating Sales Velocity. Listen to a lot of his, his CDs and just, uh, you know, really tuned in with some of the things that he's really teaching and then saw a Facebook ad. So I said, well, I know Matthew, let's, let's check out what this new program is all about. Since you've started with top agent mindset, tell us some of the things that you've changed in your business. Well, it was basically, I've been doing all the things that a lot of successful agents do or following what they do and not, not understanding why I can't have the same success that they are having. And that created some frustration from me. And because I was calling all the expires, I was you know, calling my past clients, doing a lot of the things that those professionals do, but there was a point where I wasn't reaching the success that I should have. And, and he you know, came to me, or I actually found him with this top agent mindset, and I'm like, well, let's look into this and figure out, is it really our mindset that's holding us back from reaching that next level? Tell us how the changes in your mindset that you've made have affected your business. Significantly, I mean, I went from, you know, traditionally I've been probably a 35 to 45 year producer. This year I'm on track. To, I'm actually closed and pending right now at 60 deals. My goal was to hit 70, 75. So, you know, there's December left. So I'm not saying it, it can't be done. Actually, my, my mindset wants me to say it can't be done, but I'm going to put the drunk monkey to sleep and say, we're going to do our absolute best to hit our goal. But, you know, from the initial phone calls, Matthew had some, some a group of one-on-ones that uh, he would bring people into and if anybody had a question with something that they were facing a difficult area with and I chimed in with with the situation that I had and Matthew has a great talent and ability to ask you the right questions and while my drunk monkey was so used to giving a vanilla answer to protect me from being called out he has the ability to see through the BS and ask that next question to get down to the layer of what makes the top agent mindset so successful, which is a success paradox. And that's, you know, you do all these things to get ready to, to be set to start every single day, but you get right to that starting line and you never really start. And you, and you can't explain why, but maybe some shiny object in the corner is pulling you away or you, you figure you want to work on that one file or do something administrative, anything other than the one thing that's going to make you successful that day, which is absolutely silly, but that's the tricks that our mindset plays. Okay. And tell us a specific story about a time top agent mindset and the training have been above and beyond your expectations. That's within the training itself. You know, the, the training that you get with the top agent mindset was more than I expected. So just the program that he's put together, I would say is above and beyond, you know, anything that I've had in the industry in that, you know, everything else is all about what you do. This is, this focuses on why you do it or why you don't do it. So this is the, the real why you don't do what you're supposed to do every single day. And he breaks it down in, you know, not only the six levels of the drunk monkey trying to tell you why you're not doing it, but he, you know, he has supporting audios that, uh, you know, tell you for prospecting, for price reductions, the mindset um, behind, um, you know, cold calling, all these different things that, that are so eloquently staged within the presentation and, and the training that truly goes above and beyond. What would you tell somebody that was on the fence about getting started using the Top Agent Mindset program? You have to stop and ask yourself, why am I on the fence? You know, what is really holding me back from making a decision? And is this the same thought process that keeps me held back from not only this training, but from the other portions in my life? Why am I not working out? Why am I not doing this? Why am I 
not doing the things that I'm supposed to do on a daily basis and then take that little voice and just take that leap of faith and just say, just this one time, take a leap of faith, have trust that Matthew's got your back, and for a very nominal investment, you're going to see so many gains over your career because you can keep coming back to this every single day, every single morning, and chime in and tune in to, well, gosh, you know, the drunk monkey was doing this. Well, you know what? I've got training for that. I need to remember my training and go back and listen to that uh, to that subsection of, of the top agent mindset because it's there every single day. All right, Michael. Well, thank you so much for doing the success story today for Matthew. Uh, I know that he really appreciates it, and we're glad to hear that you've been having success with the top agent mindset system.